AI terms you're too afraid to ask about. What is a large language model? Large language models power the majority of the AI tools that you're going to come across today. They're trained on billions of examples, and they're not memorizing those examples. They're finding patterns in the language. This is very important, so I'm going to say it again. They are not memorizing the language. They're finding patterns so that they can do that autocomplete or that forecast. You know when you go to Google and you start typing in a search and then it has a bunch of recommendations for you? It's the same thing. Google hasn't memorized all those answers. Google hasn't memorized exactly what's going to work for you or what other people have searched for. Google knows what similar searches have ended up being. It knows those patterns and it's offering those patterns to you. That's again a great way to think about the LLMs. They're understanding the relationships between words formulas and logic. They're understanding the structure, but they're not again memorizing the exact content and they're not going to give you exact existing content word for word. It's all about the patterns of the English language. Think of it like a well-read intern who's seen everything online, but they can't remember everything that they've read online. They can just remember the gist. They can paraphrase. They can pull together structures that they've seen, but not replicate the content exactly. And that's a large language model. So how do, LL how do large language models get built? First, engineers feed the model with massive amounts of text, journals, textbooks, web content. That's often why you'll see people joke that M dashes just magically appear everywhere. So much academic content that tends to feature M dashes more heavily has been fed into these models and trained that it just starts to replicate something that isn't normally seen in casual writing. After it's been trained on the data, it will be run through machine learning and run learning patterns. It's going to figure out which words tend to appear together and in what order. Then humans will go through a fine tuning exercise, helping it sound more helpful, accurate, and hopefully polite and down to the point. And finally, it's going to do an inference. When you ask a question, it's going to predict the most likely response based on what it's seen before, based on the structure, based on the patterns. So at the end of the day, an LLM is not magic. It's no different than going to Netflix and having it recommend content based on patterns that it's seen across other users. It's just a massive prediction engine that's been fed with more content than anything we've seen before.